Okay. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Guess where we are. Tomorrow's Friday. You have 10 seconds. Tomorrow is Friday. Casual day at work. Five, Jeez. four, three, two, one. We have not been back here in a very long time. We've only been here twice. Once it was it was only only the Nemo section was done, and the second time, I think we just like ran. I don't even remember the second time. But I know we were here. Yeah, I feel like we just stay in the lobby, but we are gonna explore to get some inside out. and out. This is called Animation Hall. Oh my god! I forgot how much I love this lobby and me and Sarah have an issue with like the art of Disney books and all the historical things. I could literally spend 40 minutes looking at all these, <laughs> let alone another 40 minutes over here, let alone 16 hours outside. We're in trouble. Yeah. This is so cool. It's everything that happened in Disney history on this day. Wait, something else happened on this day today. What? We booked our little doggie's princess getaway <laughs> when we go back to Chicago. She's going to stay at the best friend's pet care during Thanksgiving time. I miss I'm her. I'm so sad. But she gets a Disney vacation. So for anybody that was saying, is staying in art and animation or thinking about it, here is the menu. They have salad and sandwiches, a world of flavor shop. Look at the Mongolian grilled fish. Curry chicken, pizzas, so like roast beef, fancy. a chicken, a pizza. And look at this big, it's huge. And there's like the beautiful art everywhere. Ooh, look at, they have like a smoothie stand over here. Smoothies, desserts, there's a pastry section over here. This is fancy. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, all of the cereal you could ever ask for. So you may be setting yourself up for story time right now because last time we were here, cars would land, the car section wasn't open, right? I don't think the car section was open last time or at least we hadn't drove, we haven't driven Route 66 at that time. So we're, we're beelining straight to the car section because it looks like cars land, it looks like Route 66 and I can't wait. Someone please let us know if this tomato sign got hurt in the hurricane because I feel like they were just like touching up the cement grounding. And this whole area is so Route 66. -ish. I wish we would have vlogged our honeymoon. We drove Adams and Michigan Avenue in Chicago all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Oh, and look at the the cones are the cabanas for this aquatic pool. Super cool. Look at Wheel Well. We did stay at the Wagon Wheel, and that's the Wheel Well Motel. Well, we gotta go check out Fillmore. Well, she's got like lightning's got stickers. She just has stickers. <laughs> she's got a tattoo. She does. Pinstripe. When we got to Disneyland after we finished Route 66, concierge or what would it be? Uh, concierge or the cast member who was working the club lounge because we got club access for one night. They put on cars for us and we got a signed photo of Mater and Lightning. And it was like almost a little emotional because like we just spent nine whole days, 12 hours a day driving from like spot to spot across Route 66, Americana. We get to Disneyland, check into our room, we made it. The customer puts on cars, and that opening scene of cars, it's, it's just. That's what she's, that's what she's like. So here is the Nemo area, and then, yeah, this is a bridge that goes to Pop Century, but they seem to be doing some construction. This is on a big barge. Yeah, let's cool. go look at it closer. And yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at this guy. Can I get? Can I do a Peter Rambles? Oh yeah. Can we do a hashtag Peter Rambles? Yeah. Pop Century and Art of Animation weren't actually supposed to be here. And it's it's like a little sad, but because of the attacks that, um, in New York on 9-11, that had a direct like effect Impact, on Disney yeah. World and they what they were doing with this land. Pop Century has like four or five decades on that side of the lake, 
and they were supposed to have the, another set of four or five decades on this side of the lake. So Pop Century was supposed to be here. It was supposed to be that It's big. animation, art of animation. But what happened is because of the attacks and the decline of the um, tourist industry during the preceding seasons, they stopped construction for a few, few years. And yeah. this was just, the, none of these buildings were here. I think there was like one or two that was just skeleton. And then after a few years, when it, everything started picking back up, they started building. They started building the buildings again, and they, they like the Disney Think Tank, got to thinking like, do we need to do a couple more decades, or could we do something different? At that time, they decided to do art of animation. So it's not to say that we wouldn't have art of animation if those if those events didn't happen. We would just maybe have them in a different capacity. But it's cool. You can look up um, like aerial photos of how this is literally like a mirrored property on the other side of this lake. The buildings are like look the exact same from the inside out, or from the outside where they're placed and everything. Yeah, but Art of Animation is a value resort, but they are more so family suites, so it is a little bit more expensive to stay there. But they're super, super nice. Yeah, they're very themed. And this is that barge we were talking about. Look at this lady using her body language. That is one big old fish. <laughs> what if Ariel was that big? That would be terrifying, oh my gosh. Don't be such a guppy. So, we haven't gone through the liking section, but I had, did not realize that this place has at least three pools. We may have four if um, the liking section has one. You want to walk through it? Yeah. Right here is an intense little view right here. So we've got King Triton, King of the Seas, across from the big old jerk over here, Ursula. Jerk. And they're having a little stare down. And what happens in the middle of them, this intense showdown? Sebastian having a little party to himself, dancing in the shell. Orchestrating this. Oh, you're right, because they are having a little, it's a little fish surrounding Ariel. Oh, just in time, Sarah. I think um, you I need, need to you need to touch up your hair. I do. With a thingamabob. No, with that dingo hopper. Oh. They threw you off. They did throw me off. My family just walked past and called the thingamabob. And threw me off. Look at this little dark patch. We're going into the the African. This is like a creepy elephant graveyard. I feel like there's gonna be a bad guy. Over Looking your over. shoulder. Ah! Look at this big old scar. He's got a creepy, creepy look on his face. Like Alright, you wanted to go to the elephant graveyard? Elephant what? Elephant graveyard. Ooh! <gasps> look at the hyenas up there. Sarah calls them hyenas. I call them hyenas. But look at this. Creepy red cave. Oh. Mufasa. Ooh. Say it again. Mufasa. Ooh. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. I like how they walk like with their Yeah, hold on. Like what? <laughs> Is that how you feel? Every moment of every day? How crazy. Sarah just pointed out that this song is playing at the end of Festival of the Lion King. But look at Mufasa on Pride Rock with the moon right there. It's super cool. And all the surrounding animals. And all the surrounding animals. Everything the sun touches. Not too shabby, Mufasa. Not too shabby. Yeehaw! What does that mean? All right, everybody. We had a strange night, but it was a fun night. Did we show? Did we? Did we film it all at Port Orleans? Oh, just a little quick snippet. Oh, we saw Bob. So we saw Bob tonight. At, that was at, a surprise. That was a surprise. We saw Bob, Yeehaw Bob, at Port Orleans Riverside because someone who watches our vlogs, Rob, was there and we decided, you know, uh, to head over there to see Yeehaw Bob and to meet Rob because we love, we love that people watch these vlogs because we do them first and foremost for us because it's like little snippets for us to look back at later in life. And also share with the people back at home so I can mm -hmm. keep tabs on us. And then 
The other benefit is people who would like to see parts of the parks that we see or visit, they can see it then and for anybody else after that who actually enjoys the watches, that's just incredible. But um, after talking to Rob tonight, meeting him and talking to him, it's just, we love like Disney people. We love all, everybody, but like <laughs> Disney people, like they like get it more than just like Mickey Mouse. Like they get the smells and the feelings and the emotions and the places and the little nuances behind everything. But it reminded me of this, this Eat Like Walt book that we got that I wanted to read the dedication to you because I think it, it just like sums up like Rob got a DVC I think he said in 2013 and he only been to Disney World once before that but like at, like that one other trip plus his friend having a DVC and since he's bought it and come down like the way he would even was talking about his vacations like he just gets it like yeah he gets like the cast members making the magic and people just enjoying themselves at the parks or at any of the resorts or just walking around like there's just the magic in the air this dedication was written by um, like a food enthusiast, a food and wine expert, Marcy Carriker Smothers. And this dedication is for Walt Disney. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, this is story time. <laughs> for Walt Disney. As a child, going to Disneyland was always my favorite day of the year. I'd arrive giddy with excitement, never wanting the day to end. When the park closed, I was exhausted, falling asleep in my grandfather's arms on the way to the tram. Pirates of the Caribbean, my favorite attraction was always our first ride, a tradition I maintain today. We were allowed one special treat. Mine was chocolate fudge from the Candy Palace, but the highlight was Main Street Electrical Parade, which is my favorite. What is this feeling? The same feeling I have as an adult each and every time I enter the gate, see the train station and giant floral Mickey in front of me, pass underneath the railroad tunnel into Town Square and get my first glimpse of Main Street USA. The feeling I share with millions and millions of people at the happiest place on earth. Whatever the magic is, Disneyland is my land. It's my source of joy and inspiration. Thanks, Walt. So even just like meeting Rob tonight, reading that dedication yesterday, it's just like there's a special magic in Disney. And we love it. Yeah. And we love to share it. So thank you for letting us okay. share it with you. And it's un it's like unable to describe how it is. And it's like interesting when you meet those types of people that Get it's it almost like you just you click because you don't you need it. to explain it. It's just there, and that's why we hope that people even just experiencing our vlogs can get a little pick taste of it. Yeah. Or like inspire get... them to come here and feel it for themselves. Yes. Or More... remember what they felt like when they've been here in the past. But with that, tomorrow's Friday. It's already the weekend. That my work week, like the week flew by. Yeah. It's incredible, but. Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday, we've got a lot We've got a lot of stuff planned this weekend, a lot of fun going on this weekend, so it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Are you ready for bed? You okay? I think you're ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>